What's up, guys? Hi. If you subscribe, I'll put on the heat for April. <laughs> <laughs> and then like it after that all right guys i'll take the blanket off i guess <laughs> uh. welcome to just john and april the relationship podcast your place to level up your relationship in today's episode do i want to grow old with you i hope so <laughs> And the word of the day. Uh, hey, babe, how's hey, it going? Good. How you feeling this morning? Cold. It's, cold. <laughs> it's not that cold. Okay. So the funny thing is, you know, it's been warm like every day. I know, but it's not in this house. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody wanted the air on. I, I need some heat. You, but you can't. You can't sleep with the air off. It's true, but during the day, I'm not here. But you know. Yeah, right now, not, yeah. it is during you're the day not, right now, here, and I am cold. <laughs> so that's true. So what's been happening is April's been going to work, been going to the school. Been Me, John, and Julia have air. been home, and we've been keeping it nice and cool in mm-hmm. here. But I guess it's freezing April out. It is. You know. I, I'm, I'm going to be all right, though. Everybody in our house is, I guess they're all born in the South, except me. They were all born in the South, but my kids are Northerners. They got right. Northern blood or they something. They do. Like I don't get it. But <laughs> hey. I've had to live with it. I've been uh, all right. I've been all right. <laughs> Just get my little blanket. Yeah, well, it's a heated blanket, too. Exactly. You know I don't know if it's doing anything, but. All right, y'all. So uh, we got an interesting uh, thing that I came across this week. It's actually pretty old. It happened in September of 2020, but I just found out about it this week. There is a couple who we found out about, I cannot believe this, who has been married for 85 years. 85 years, 85. Y'all. 85 years. That's a long time. Not 85 years old. 85 years <laughs> married. Right. So they're like 102, 103. Yeah, they have to be. We did the calculation. Right. I mean, the article doesn't say it, but. Married. It's crazy. And that is crazy. Okay, their names are Ralph and Dorothy Kohler, and they celebrated their 85th wedding anniversary in September of 2020. Wow. And they're from Nebraska. Um, it looks like Ralph was 17 when they got married, and, and um, Dorothy was, was 16. Mm-hmm. They tied the knot September 17th, in 1935. And wow. Now, there's a couple of things that I thought were interesting about this. Okay. So the first thing is, when I look at this, I immediately want to say, how'd you guys stay married that long? Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, really. Like, I want to know. And then I, and if I, if we had them on the show, right. I'd ask them, first of all, how, what do you think you has kept you married that long? Mm-hmm. And then, and then I would ask them, you know, is it what you thought it was going to be? Like when you said when yeah, you got married, yeah, I, yeah, I want to yeah, be married yeah, yeah. to you until I die. You know what I'm saying? Did you think it was going to be like this 85 years in? You know what I'm <laughs> right, saying? Right, right. <laughs> so so I, I want to get some advice on that. Stuff. But but here's the the, th- the funny thing. This is hilarious to me. The article doesn't say anything about that. They're not going to say anything about how long they've been married. When it talks about longevity, it talks about their longevity of age. He talks about how... Uh, they've never smoked or drank or anything like okay, that. They have healthy habits. And I yeah. guess that makes sense because <laughs> I guess the bigger deal is they're 103 and 102. Right. You know what I'm that's saying? That's a bigger deal <laughs> than that they've been married for 85 but years. But to me, that's it. Okay, so the real thing, though, for me is how are you married 85 years? What in the world? And do you really want to grow old together? Because when you said mm-hmm. you wanted to be married to me mm-hmm. until you died. Yes. Did I really mean it? I mean, what did you have in mind? I mean, come on, yes. No, 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 seriously. Like, what did you ever think through to the end and say, no. this is what we're going to look like at the end no, or whatever? you don't think about that. Well, I did. Really? Yeah, every time it comes to my head, I think about us, no, but you our just parents' said, age. No, but you just said when we got married. Like, was oh, I thinking true. that then? That's no, true. now, right. of course right. I am. I, you're right, yeah. that's true. I've of course, I'm thinking that. about that yeah. now. Like, man, right. one day we will be Good old together. Yes, you know what comes to your mind now because all i think of is your parents and my parents and they're not that old and actually they look great and they, they do still pretty my much have been their health 51 years right but i'm trying to think of how let's see i'm 42 so they're more, 45. more than 43 40 no 44 45 they're, that's they're, true they're, they're about two years 45. old that's true. Oh my <laughs> they're 45 this year okay 45 it'll be 45 this year, this year in okay. august okay, okay. sorry yeah. mom and dad my bad <laughs> <laughs> but i'm just saying you know my parents been married 51 years right and they look amazing, right. and they're happy. Right. Like, right. I, you know, they still love each other. They're still having a great right. time. And when you look at them at this age, you say to yourself, "Wow, if our marriage could be like that at that time, that would be great." Right. But but think about eighty five though. Let's just think about this for a second. What are Ralph and Dorothy doing? What is their day like at one hundred three and one hundred two? It's. I mean, I, I. They don't say anything about like anything about their routine or nothing like right. that. I'd like to look more into this. You know, but, I think they care a lot about each other. Oh, but there's no question they have I, to. I, what I'm saying is I think it's just 
you know, they're making sure if, if they're kind to each other. I mean, right. you could have two, you know, like crotchety old right, people. Right. <laughs> they just uh, fuss at each other and argue. But that's still a, a, a type of love that they have for each other doing that, too. Okay. I mean, you so know. I, I, got you know a, I, got, I got a question for okay. you. It comes from the other show. So this past Wednesday, we had a show talking about um, what men really want. Mm-hmm. And we got into some discussions, which always happens because chimes, they chime in, they say stuff, and it takes the conversation to different places. This happens all the time. Right. And so we kind of didn't plan to go here, but it kind of happened. Mm-hmm. We talked about nagging. <laughs> so here's my question do you think dorothy nags <laughs> why i gotta be dorothy what do you mean why i gotta be dorothy in most of the situations john we talked we? about this yeah, you're did, the nagger you, nah, I ain't this, the nagger. You that is are. not true it that, is that's a lie i know you don't want to be and that's what i understand <laughs> because that's a thing that they say you know women are the ones that are you, know, you the saying are you saying you don't nag i don't nag often and you need to be just honest. answer the question do you, you, need, do you i really nag? don't you, you don't nag i really don't I mean, here and there, I might have a nag moment, but (laughs) I'm not a a nag nag moment. Look, you're definitely you're not a nagger. I don't think I'm a nagger either. I may have a nag moment. I think you nag more than I do. I don't think that's true at all. Whatever. Let's move on from this. Let's move on. Okay, here's my question though. Okay, do you think either one? Fine. Do you think either one of them nags? I mean, do you think you can be married 85 years? I don't think so. I think now it's it's not even nagging no more. It's just. What it is like, like I, I feel like at eighty five years, you are just settled in it. You have to be eighty five like, years. Is, this is how it is. At this that point, is, you must know everything about each other. Yeah, and you're not mad anymore about stuff. Right. Like this is how it's been. Right. And you're okay with it. Right. Or you're you're not that necessarily okay, but you don't even it doesn't even bother you like it used to. Okay, so here's my real question, babe. This is what I really wanted. This is the essence of the show for me. Okay. And this is all I care about. Now, you can take it anywhere you want, but this is yeah. my main thing. Okay. 85 years married. Is it, when you think of a person, a couple that's been married that long, is it that they're the perfect couple, they don't really have any issues, and that's how they're able to get to 85 years? Mm. Or are they just super stubborn and competitive, and they're not going to get kicked by a divorce? You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> I think they're two different things, right? I think it's possible to be married to someone and not necessarily be super duper all the way on cloud nine all the time, always happy, and mm-hmm. stay married just because you're like, we're going to dig in and we're not going to let divorce take us over. Mm-hmm. Is that possible for 85 years, though? Or is this a couple that probably has something that other couples don't have? You know what I'm saying? No, I definitely don't think that it is um that they're just competitive? Yeah. There's no way. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It, you cannot be that competitive. You can't, you can't keep that up for 85 years. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Okay. Um, I, I do believe that they have, they probably have been through everything. Uh, they have to have. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, I mean, being together that long. 1935 was the year that they got married. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to remember when the Great Depression happened. <laughs> <laughs> I, yes, I'm, the I'm Great about, Depression was I'm about to look it up right in, now. The Great Depression was in... It was in the 30s. The Great Depression happened, started in 1929, okay. lasted until the late 1930s. So they got okay. married in the middle of the Great Depression. Wow. Okay, so, so clearly, okay, they always talk about this. They talk about the people who are part of the greatest generation. Uh-huh. They, say, they say the greatest generation are the ones who really went through that. Right, right. right. I, I'm, I'm actually going to contend that the greatest generation coming up is about to be those who lived through this pandemic. <laughs> Like dead serious. I, th- yeah. I think I think this is going to do some things, and you're going to see some resilience and stuff come out of this right. later on. But right. clearly, this is a couple who got married at a time when things were not great. Yeah. And so I think they may have may have developed some relationship muscles that right. maybe regular people don't oh, have. That's good. I think yeah, they, I think yeah, they're yeah, probably yeah. tougher. So I do think there's an element of toughness that goes with this. I don't think it's. I don't think it can just be that they have the perfect relationship. I think there has to be some sort of stick to it involved. Maybe because they've been through something. They started off where they had to depend on each other. Correct. Or they really had to to uh, work through some things yeah. together. Yeah. Where, yeah. You know, right away from right. the beginning. Yes. So I, I really want to I want to like interview these people. I don't think I know. it's possible, but I, know. I would love amazing. to be able to talk to them and find out what exactly happened and what they went through. How do they think? What do they think is the reason why they're able to stay married for 85 years? Right. Now, I actually have my theory mm-hmm. as to how I think they were able to stay married for 85 years. Well, first years. of all. But we'll ha- do that later because okay, that's the but, word of the day. But I'm saying they, they definitely have to love each other. Yes. You know, we know that. Yes. Because without love, 
you, you're not staying together for 85 years. No. Period. Yeah, no okay. way in the world. And we talked about this in another episode that they have to have friendship. You know, they right. have to like each other. Right, exactly. You know, not friendship. Yeah, but no you friendship. Know. Well, yeah, I, but I, I, meant, yeah. I meant to say like because okay. that was our last episode. Right. They have to right. like each other, you yes. know. And uh, some, you know, you don't have to like everything the person does. Right. But liking each other, right. yeah. Right, And I feel like, you know, in order to stay together for 85 years, you have to be compassionate. Right. You have to be understanding. I mean, you got to have all of those things. You know, you have to be able to... Um, you have to be able to be patient mm-hmm. and and give up your your things. Mm-hmm. You know, give up the things you mm-hmm. want. You know, all mm-hmm. that stuff has mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. for eighty five years. Try, trying like, to make no the relationship uh, as enjoyable for you as it is for me, or exactly. something like that. Yeah. Okay. So right. so there's another thing that I thought about, and this is why I'm asking the question whether or not we really thought it through mm-hmm. when we thought about being growing old together. Okay. By the time we get to be in our hundreds, mm-hmm. I feel like there isn't really that much stuff left that a normal young couple's marriage would have. I'll, put, I'll say it this way. You and I right now have a bunch of stuff that we do that goes along with our relationship. We are mm-hmm. parents of mm-hmm. children. We're raising them mm-hmm. still. Mm-hmm. We have the regular routine of what it is that we do from day to day mm-hmm. to make sure that the household runs, right. to make sure that our kids have what they need. Well, we're working. We have careers. Th- there's a bunch of stuff that goes into that. It feels like... A marriage would change, which, which by Once the way, all I, that stuff is gone. Yes. Yeah. And and I feel like and I feel like a marriage would change in stages as the things go away one after the other. Right. So the first thing that goes is the kids. Your, your kids, right? Yeah. You, yeah, yeah. Empty nest. Right. They leave. Right. You're home by mm-hmm. yourself. I, I wonder, by the way, we have some people that we need to interview. We probably need to do an OG Couple Goals episode coming up soon with some older couples that have been around for a long time yeah. and ask them, what was it like when you transitioned right away from having kids right. in the home to not? That's got to be something. Right. Okay, that's got to change something. And then you got- We know it does. Yeah, we, we, but we, I don't know why. Like, is yeah, it positive? Like, right, that's true. You know true. what I'm saying? Is it negative? We don't know. Is, is it, is it automatically it kids are going, way. this is great? I think it can be either way. I agree with you. Yeah. Especially if- Especially if a lot of your relationship was dependent was upon or, or surrounded yes. around the kids, then when they go, yes, maybe, yes, 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 yes. Uh, you know, I know a lot of couples that once the empty nest happens, they're like, right. well, maybe we should get divorced. So you got <laughs> empty nest. You have, you also have things like, you know, a partner getting sick or not being able to do exactly. what they used to do. And exactly. then and it's like, and that's it. They're not right. coming back from right. that. So, right. so it's like one minute you have where your partner can do and, 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 and be active and yep. everything. And then yep. all of a sudden they can't. Right. And there's no coming around from that. Yes. You know, there's no turning around. This exactly. is it. Right. That this is their lot from now on. This is their lot from now on. They can't actually recover from that. They can't from recover that. from right. it. Yeah. And that's what you're going to get when you're talking 85 years. Exactly. You have to, right? <laughs> there has to be something like that in there. Okay. 100, 300, I mean, you I can mean, get that before 85 years. Right. We know that. Exactly. You know, so it's like, that's a huge thing to deal with. I agree. So so you got empty nests. You got loss of career. Because, you know, okay. at some point Not we're going to retire. Retire. Yeah, you, know you got retire. Because that's next. So yeah. you got loss of, you have... Emptiness, loss of career. Yeah. Then and, well, not, and, and uh, maybe we shouldn't call it loss of career, of career right? Retirement. It's just retirement. Okay. Right? But but here's the thing: for men, and I know I've thought about this for myself, a lot of the things that I feel uh, make me who I am mm. are sort of tied into what I do. I so, mean, so should you should you try now? Should we try now to to move yourself away from that type of thinking? That my career makes up who I am because if you are if you allow that to 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 be what it is that you're you know who you are right then when it's time to retire you have a difficult time like it's almost like you should be preparing yourself now to be free when you retire yes that's exactly what I'm doing rather than to feel like this what you know this job is who I am right you really right. shouldn't be placing who you are in your work I, I agree because that could I, go away. And I've and I've been working I've been working on that, trying to figure out where I am in that. Like, am I? I definitely don't have that problem. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I may not either. I just don't. I don't know. I, I I've thought about that, and I've said to myself, I need to make sure I'm not having that problem. But right. I also wonder, and this is where I'm really going. I'm wondering if we should be preparing ourselves for that as a couple. Like, mm-hmm. should we be mm-hmm. thinking mm-hmm. about the longevity of it and saying, okay, I want to be married to this woman for at least 85 years. Which, by the way, we got married when we were 21, 22, so 85 years. That would be like 109 <laughs> or 8 or whatever. You know what I'm saying? We might be able to get to 70. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> so, so I'm saying if we're going to be married that long, I'm saying we need to be preparing ourselves mm-hmm. for whatever it mm-hmm. takes to be mm-hmm. able to have that kind of longevity. And the question is, what are people like them doing? You know what I'm saying? To make Listen, it 85 years. I, <laughs> I don't think most people are not sitting down and saying, 
okay, let's plan. I don't think so either. Or let's bro. talk about it. I they're don't not. Think so there is. They are. Whatever happens along the way, you adjust. You figure it out. And really, I think there's a word that I would say. Maybe should have been the word of the day okay. and isn't. What is that it? Ju- that I just came up with. What is it? That what I think you have to have in order mm-hmm. to get to 85 years. You okay. ready? What is it? Flexibility. Oh, that's definitely true. You got to be flexible. You mean like be able to do yoga? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's you definitely. That, that kind of flexibility is helpful have, too. You do need that. That is helpful. <laughs> <laughs> that is helpful. But to I know get what you're saying. You're right. You're right. You got to be flexible. You because can't be so rigid. You can't that be rigid is, that right. when something changes, you're all up in arms you're about right. the fact that. Oh, now we yep. don't have kids, you're or right. now the kid, you know, the, yep. don't, the job is gone, yep. the health is gone. Yep. You got to be flexible. So that means you're able to just adjust to any situation yep. that comes forth. Yep. You have to be able to say, okay, I'm going to, let's move to this. Let this relationship mm-hmm. be able to now move to the in this direction now, for whatever reason. What's funny though is, that your def- your word of the day, I think, still ties into our word of the day. To, okay. In my opinion. Well, let's move to the word of the day. Yeah. So, so the word of the day is what? Boon companion. Boon companion. I think most people know this ace boon. So that is a close friend mm-hmm. with whom one enjoys spending time. Yes. Now, here's, yeah. wh- here's why I say Especially that. Especially after 85 years. Yes. No kids. Yes. No job. Yeah. All the stuff that you would normally see as part of a regular. Right. What are you gonna say? I was gonna say no re- recreation is gonna even your recreation eat. changes. I mean, you 103. What you doing and, and, for and, recreation? And, 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 well, we and probably could still play golf. Probably, <laughs> but but your physical intimacy habits habits are gonna change. That's too. true. That's I'm just true. saying. No, really. I, to me, I visualize us at that age, and I say to myself, we're gonna be sitting in the bed like matching beds beside each other. You know what I'm saying? Or chairs. Or chairs. You need to get if, out of the if, bed if, every day. If I can get out of the bed at that yeah, age. That's true. <laughs> so you already said what the word of the day was, right? Yeah. A boom. close friend with yeah. whom you enjoy spending time. So, right. so to me, this is why I'm saying this is a big deal. Because I actually think it's easier to go through a lot of these changes and to make a lot of these concessions and to do a lot of these things in terms of adjustment, yeah. like flexibility, when you're doing with somebody that you're that's friends true. with. That you like spending time with. That's that you it. like to be with. That you like to hang out with. And I, don't think this, I don't think a lot of this stuff is possible without that. I, I, I have to agree with you there, but I think that it is possible. But what happens is you end up, um, you know, not really wanting to be. Well, that's what I'm saying. Who I mean, wants, who you're, wants you're to there. do that for that long? You can, you know, you're there because you have to be. Where are you going to go? You know, that's some people's mind is, Maybe. Who, where am, you know, where am I going to go? Who am I going? Who's going to take care of me? Right. Or anything, something like that. So when, when, when that comes, when that's a part of the the picture Mm -hmm. you're going to just you know be there and complain or or be in a different room or that's why we got to get ralph to a nursing home you know we got we got got to talk to (laughs) ralph about this find find out what's going on Mm -hmm. man well listen all i'm saying is this i definitely want to grow old with you there's no question about it well you my ace boom boo you mine too but i'm saying we got to find something to do at that age man i'm sorry we can't just be sitting around you know sometimes (laughs) john you can't come up with something to do you have to sit around because you can't do nothing else. And we can always talk. We, listen, we can keep this we, podcast. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Now, this you know, well, we can do that. We You're can right. sit in a chair yep. and talk and about what we've been through in our lives. That's it. You know that would be good. Keep it going. Let's just keep this going. Exactly but who's going to do the technology at that age? I have no idea. <laughs> our great grandkids. <laughs> we get Juby and John John's <laughs> grandkids to do it for us. You know what I'm <laughs> right, right. That'll work. Anyway, here's the going on with you, babe. All right. <laughs> See y'all next time.